the Ty Campbell to the microphone, Team Ropers, Tear Ropers, Tear Wrestler, Flag Carrier, Ty Campbell. How are you? Man, I'm good, Wayne. Thanks for having me up here again. Love having you here. How about Jesse, man? How exciting was that? That was awesome, man. That kid, uh, you know, his dad used to ride Bronx years ago, and good family, and they own a Westwall Tire Store. Uh, this is a one header today because the times are so close. You bet. You know, and that's the thing, too, is that it's so tight, man. You know, from 12th to 1st, it's only a 3.8 second, second, second difference. We've been talking about it all week. The setup here at Pendleton is way different. We saw it with Jesse Brown. He was pulling all the way to the barrier, and it's a tough to judge that start. You know, they have the luxury of most Play Ruse, Brent Lockett are up first. Play Ruse, Brent Lockett. He's got a good right there. Brent's not going to be able to come in here and clean up, too. He's been here, and that's a heck of a run right there. Five and three. Jesse Brown here in the barrier. 15 and 3 with the broke barrier for Clay Ruse and Brent Lockett. 15 and 3. Thank you very much today. Our next team won Prescott over the 4th of July. Britt and Brent, one of the challenges here in Pentagon. Oh, yeah. There's lots of challenges. You know, Brent standard Jake Rock Smith are up next. Brent and Jake Pentagon, Smith. It's about 60 feet long. You can't see the steers coming. You've got a caller there. That helps you. That caller, when he's telling them right now, turn them out. That caller's telling him he's here, half out, halfway here. And he kind of tries to judge that going down the lane. And it looks like he's going to get out here today. And they've got a pretty decent steer running right down the center. He's got him on the switch and he's finally come up with one leg. I'm not going to help him at all, 11 6 with the penalty. So now, 11 6 for the Smith brothers, 11 6. Trimming down the difference between our teams right now. The NFR is coming up less than 60 days away, so these guys need to do some winning. Kale Markham, Tanner Brayden are up next. They've got a steer that's running just a little bit coming down there, but it's a luxury. He's running straight down the pipe. He's running on. That's a heel shot right there. Oh, no, it doesn't connect. No good. So we had a little rain as we talk about. No the time for Cal Markham and Tanner Brayden. No time. That's why we see 700 entries at the penalty roundup. Because the equalizer is the grass. The greatest talent is the way he's traveling. He can stumble, you can stumble. Brett that Hall really adds to the, the flavor, Hall if you will. Chase Ryan. Oh, no. Brent Hall, Chase Ryan from Montana. Oh, man. Got a leg on the hind end. Ten and two. You know, thing, Ten and two know, for Brenton Hall and Chase Dry in 10.2. I've always said if they put a couple of sagebrush or some pinion trees out there, it'd be just Clay great. Smith and Jay Corkill are up <laughs> next. Clay Smith and George Jay Corkill. Oklahoma, he's number one in the world again. Yeah. He's going to bet on the team. I bet on this one right here. Oh, and that's something you don't see every day. Those guys right there, they both got No both time for Clay Smith reasons. and Jade Corkill. You know, no time. Again, when you come to penalty, uh, you know, anything can happen. This grass, I mean, Bell, Arizona, Nano Garza from New Mexico. Tanner Baldwin, Nano Garza. Tanner Baldwin, Nano Garza. Garza, Garza. 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 You know, these skiers today, they're running a little bit, but they're staying straight. That makes it a lot easier, and he's got two. That's the run of the day right there. Seven flat, and they're going to be clean. That's going to put them right where they need to be. You know, they came back. They're in the middle of the pack. Seven so flat pack, for Baldwin and, and Garza. Seven flat. Out. And a seven-second run is pretty respectable. And uh, it's been with some roundup here. We're just going to put them right where they need to belong. We've uh, known each other since we were kids. Jason this Stewart, horse, Calgary Smith are up right next. Jason Stewart, First of the summer, Calgary he wanted, Smith. Calgary needed somebody to rope with. And Jason said, I'll rope with you until you can find a better partner. But, man, they've been mixing it up all summer right here. Stewie's got it on. Come on for two feet. Yes, sir. That is what they needed to do right there. They're clean on the barrier at a 4.8. Nice work, Stewie. Hey, how about a nice work, Stewie? Give the high school penalty round a little bit more noise on the way out of here. Calgary Smith. Man. 4.8. 4.8 on that run. Jason Stewart's one of my good, good friends. Five teams to go. Brandon Pierce, Pal Theodore, and Justin Davis from California. Oh, no. 
Man, and you see that steer switch to the left right there. We've talked about that No time for Brandon too. Beers and Dustin Davis. Right no Beers time, no time. Dustin Nick, the skeezer from Florida. Jake Long from Kansas, both Cowboys top 20 in the world. If they can be five flat or faster, they will take over the number one spot. And this kid should fix the line. They got a lot of switch. Ooh, oh, seven. Seven at two. A good run right there, but man, they... And, seven and, and two for Dustin Esquiziza and Jake Long. Seven you know, and two. Who was going to draw the good one here? And Jason Stewart, Calgary Smith, still in the lead. You bet. You know, and, and uh, this Jordan Kester right here, he's impressive. He won the time event championship in Guthrie here about two years ago. This kid can bowl up, he can heal, he can trip steers, he can do it all. Blake's got it on his good right there. In the yes, and that's what they needed. That's a five nine. Good run. It's going to be enough. Five nine. This is gonna be a nail biter, man. I'm five gonna nine for Blake Texaria and <laughs> Jordan Kirster. We got five nine. Of the computer screen, thanks to Montex Studios. You know, seventeen to one at first, seventeen to seven. Bubba Buckaloo and Cole Davis. Bubba Buckaloo like and Cole Davis. This is gonna be a good watch right here. <laughs> Bubba Buckaloo. Man, and they've got a good one right here. If you can get them turned off and connect them behind it, you bet. Five and seven. The clean on the barrier. And what's that gonna do? <laughs> Five and seven oh, for man. Buckaloo and Davis. I it up right again, like we talked about. 17 1, 17 5, 17 7. They got them stacked up in the top three. It's on your big screen, it's on the heels. Eric Rogers. Eric man, Rogers and guy. Peyton Bray are up next. Eric Kansas. Rogers, he Peyton Bray. Always rides good horses. He's rode the horse of the year more than one time. Uh, and he can trip steers as well. Does an outstanding job. It can throw some rope. And man, they've got a good one today right down the pipe. Oh, no. oh man! You know you hate to see that because those guys have the best in the world right there. They've got no time right for there. Rogers and Way Bray. No time. Not going to work for them today. Well, I'll tell you what, Wayne. I don't know if you're excited or I'm as excited as Jason and Calgary are, but those guys who are the best to ground up. That may 